Hey, how's it going? So, you getting psyched for Record Store Day? Yeah, I bet you are. And I know people are, you might be wondering what some of the stuff that's coming out actually looks like. And let me just tell you that in general, you know, there's 100, 155 or so really cool things that were made exclusively for Record Store Day. And that actually makes it the uh, biggest street date for music of 2010 so far. Very exciting. And um, let me show you some of them because uh, uh, the quality is really high, and, and that's really what I want to show off. Um, here's one that's actually uh, going to disprove my point because it's totally blank. Not even say what's on it. Not even a sticker. But it says Beastie Boys, and what else do you need to know? It's the Beastie Boys. Um, they only made a thousand of them, folks, so come out early if you are a Beastie Boys fan. Or they're calling it the Mystery 12-inch because they won't tell anybody what's on it. And um, I'm guessing it's the cover of uh, Metal Machine music. That's my guess. Okay, what else do we have here? I'm going to go through some of this. Okay, cool. Rolling Stones. Now, what's cool about this, 7-inch here, uh, Plundered My Soul. I'm sorry about the prices. That's so crass. I just want to take the stickers off. Um, yeah, B-side, unreleased from the uh, Exile on Main Street sessions. Yeah, you're psyched for that. This is very awesome looking. John Lennon singles bag. Again, don't worry about the price. Don't worry about that at all. Um, okay, check this out here. Okay, limited edition, all right? Individually numbered. They made 7,000 of them worldwide. And it's called John Lennon singles bag because it's actually in a bag. You can see, look at that. Yeah. You know, like x-rays or something, or, you know, inner office memorandum. Uh, what's in it? Oh, three John Lennon singles. Uh, Mother, Imagine, Watching the Wheels, all with the original B-sides and replicas of the original picture sleeves. There's also a poster in there, three postcards, and a little 45 RPM adapter. I think it says John Lennon on it, too. I'm not too sure, because I haven't opened it, because I'm saving it for you, although I want one. Hopefully we ordered it enough, and as you can see, it's a very large, thick thing. Very cool. Um, some other 7 inches I think are worth mentioning. Look at this Bouncing Souls picture disc. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that looks nice. Very nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Even Owl City. A couple radio edits. Here's Elvis Costello live at Hollywood High, so very early in, in uh, his career. You know, the attractions, obviously. There they are. Um, that's neat. Godsmack. Bonnie Iver singing a Peter Gabriel song, and Peter Gabriel singing a Bonnie Iver song. Nice. Okay, here we go. Check this out. Them Crooked Vultures. Picture 10 inch in this awesome red thing. We're going to open that up. Look at this little thing. You got to look. It's nice. It's very heavy plastic. Nice to protect it. Pull that open. But you won't want to keep it in here. You're going to want to frame it because it looks awesome awesome yeah nice huh very cool and uh i'm putting it away the the b-side is a um interview done by liam lynch who's an interesting guy himself so you know that's going to be a cool conversation and uh do we need to say anything unreleased music on side a yeah you, you know that okay this is something you may have heard before queens of the stone age feel good hit of the summer yep kind of a killer ep but again, same awesome inner scope, heavy packaging, gorgeous. Thank you, folks. But look at this. Yeah. Nice, huh? Cool. And yeah, look at that. See, that says 45 RPM on that. That's right. Now, we all know that the uh, 45s are the uh, best sound quality, except for maybe Blu ray. Speak oh, speaking of Blue. Uh, so what's this all about? Yeah, that looks kind of like a Devo Energy Dome, you're thinking, but why is it blue? Because it's supposed to be red. Well, you see, it's because Devo has changed their corporate color to blue. It's for the new millennium. And uh, some of the stores celebrating Record Store, they have a couple of these to give away. And I don't know how they're going to do it. Everybody's going to do it differently, but, um, you know, eh, that's nice. You know, wear some nice perfume or something. Let me show you some other things here. Okay, Bruce Springsteen. Again, uh, Bruce's 7-inch last year was one of the uh, most sought-after items. So we've got a 10-inch now. 
couple live songs, and uh, one's got Tom Morello on it, so that's cool. Look at this here. All right. Fella Cootie, huh? Yeah, nice. Gorillas, another 10-inch. Okay, Hendrix. This is a five-song live EP recorded at Clark University in Worcester. I've actually been in the room where that was recorded. Wasn't born yet when it was recorded, but you know what I'm saying. All right, this is important here. Modest Mouse, The Moon in Antarctica, one of the uh, most important uh, modern rock albums of the uh, decade of the 2000s, I'd say. Um, just on vinyl. What do you need to know? Comes with a download card, too. Yep. All right. Uh, hey, look. REM, Chronic Town, back on vinyl. Uh-huh. Yep, that's right. Probably three times as much as you paid for it if you bought it when it came out, but that's how it goes. This is really it. Oh, oh yeah, and look, the Devo hat comes with this, uh, um, you know, uh, what do you call that? You put it around your air conditioner, you know. And here's the Sonic Youth record, and this is pretty cool, too. You'll see hits are for squares. Now, what's the point of that? Well, you know, it's because they got a bunch of really interesting people to make, like, a greatest hits album, but... You know, it's it's not a real greatest hits album because you know what's on here. I don't see Goo. Remember that was a big song, right? Um, well, anyway, uh, what do we got here? Back Radiohead, Dave Eggers and Mike Watt. Interesting people. Flea, Eddie Vedder, David David Cross, the comedian or the violin player from all the prog stuff. No, probably the comedian, I guess. Um, and I'll pick in their favorite Sonic Youth songs. And um, there's a new recording by Sonic Youth. Last song. On side four that's right hey um, of course there's lots of cool CDs I brought I only have a couple of them here just because I only have a couple here uh, Grace Potter and the Nocturnals live at Scout Hegan really good show I had a lot of friends and customers of the place where I work and people who actually work with us um, went there said it was a great show and hooray it's on CD and she's also playing at the place where I work on record sort of. That's pretty awesome of her. And Grace, if you see this, thank you very much. I look forward to meeting you and telling you how awesome you are. Sick Puppies CD. Um, just so you know, there's a whole big list of CDs. You could go to, it's on, um, whether it's the, you add .com to this place and you'll find it. That's why I work for recordstoreday.com, of course. And um, lots more exciting stuff. There's like 120 more that I didn't even mention. And the last one I want to mention is just, I don't have it, but imagine the picture of Ani DeFranco's back the back of her, and then behind her, a whole bunch of people watching her play. Yeah, that's right. Because she did a, uh, she performed at uh, one of our stores last Record Store Day, Record Store Day 2009, and now that is coming out on Record Store Day 2010. That's cool, huh? Yeah. And um, there's all this really, um, she talked a lot in between songs, as you know, anybody kind of coming out of the folk tradition ought to, but she had some really interesting things to say. And it's a very nice thing. Uh, and for those of you who may have gone to the radio station's website, WCLZ, thank you very much. Fantastic AAA station here in Maine. Um, uh, there's a song on the CD that was never broadcast because Adi said there was swearing in it. And then you know what? She didn't end up swearing. It was a funny thing. So anyway, we will be seeing you on Saturday, whether you're at our place or any other, go to your favorite store. Heck, go to three of your favorite stores, whatever it is. Have a great record store day, everybody. And, um, you know, we're all just going to keep working hard to make sure that you have a good day. Anytime you feel like coming to one of our stores, a record store day store, we'll make it fun for you. And there'll be some cool stuff. All right. Good night.